Hi my beautiful family and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome, I'm happy to see you here. I hope you'll subscribe and be a part of DD5 family. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to try two new products and if you want to see that then please keep on watching. So today I'm going to review the new Metallic Mystery 2 from Linda Halbert, the new palette. And the other product I'm going to review today is something that I was very, very excited to try is P. Louise Base. And I've heard so many good things about this product. The first time I've heard about this P. Louise Base is on uh, Nikki, Tutorials, Nikki Tutorials channel. She really loved this product. And of course, I was so interested to buy it, but I can't really know why I never bought it. Yes, I do. I know I was once on the website, I tried to order it, but it was out of stock. And I think they first had one shade and not right now they have a couple of shades. But this is the limited edition um, holiday collection and it's five star base and brush duo. I think this is in shade three, I'm not sure. I haven't tried it. I did open it to see it. I did order this with brush because I've seen a couple of videos where people like to apply this with a brush. And usually the packaging is black, but this limited edition, it's white with gold details and it looks beautiful. I'm very excited to try it. No. Now, let me just say, I'm going to try this in a different way on my eyes. On one eye, I'm not going, on one eye, I'm not going to set it but on the other eye, I'm going to set this base. And don't hate me. Let me just explain why. Well, I've seen when I, all of the people on YouTube that I, that I watch, the YouTubers, they don't set this base. I have very oily eyelids and I, if I don't set my base, it's going to crease. It's going to, to crease and it's not going to look good after a couple of hours. But many people that tried this product, that use this product, said that this is not going to crease. Though I really want to compa compare and see if it's the, if the sh shadow pigment is going to be the same, it's going to be e it's easy to blend um, on the set side and the uh, unset side, and if it's going to uh, look as intense on, on both, both eyes and I just want to see how it's going to wear, how it's going to look, how it's going to blend, eyeshadow, if you set or not, don't set this product. This looks promising, I'm going to try it. Oh, my nose is itching, I don't know why. I already have my base on and I'm going to also show you a makeup look with this palette. I have many thoughts about this palette. As you probably know or watch my videos, I love Linda Halbert. These palettes I have tried, I do have my Ride or Die palettes from Linda Halberg, the new one and the old Infinity, uh, Infinity palettes. But I wanted to try these palettes for a long time, but they are very expensive. And I swatched the older, the older version, or the first version, not older, but the first version in store, and it looked amazing. But I never bought it because of the price. This one is stunning, but... Oh, I have love and hate relationship with this palette. So I'm going to explain you everything when I start the makeup look. So let's start to put the base on. On my lips today, I have the mini from uh, Jeffree Star. This is Celeste Cele Celebrity Skin. And also I have Nip and Fab Lip Liner in shade Apple Pie. So that is what I have on my lips and I love this shade and love Jeffree Star's lipstick. Lipsticks, I also ordered the Nude Mini Collection 2, Volume 2, and I'm very excited to try that one. But let's go in with this product. I don't have anything on my eyelids, they're clean and dry. I watched a couple of videos and everybody said that this is something that you tap on. Ooh, brush feels good. That you tap on the eyelid and uh, this is rumor number two shade number two rumor and let's just try to apply it if you can see it 
that's it's thick oh so let's see I have uh, used this palette from Linda Halberg so I know how it's working can't wait to see how it's going to apply my eyeshadow and it feels like it created a smooth base for my eyeshadow oh it feels a little bit sticky but also it feels light I hope it won't crease because I know the people everybody that use this base don't set it and love the product but it does crease on my eyes and some of the youtubers said that this is going to crease before you apply your eyeshadow but when you go in with your eyeshadows it's going to look flawless amazing pigmented and also not going to crease oh i like how it covered my eye so guys i, I don't know if you can see but it did start to crease on this side but it does blend so i'm going to set this eye I'm going to set it and I'm going to set it with the, the beauty powder that I use every time I'm going to set my eyeshadow primer. Where is the brush? So let's set it. I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow here first because before it starts creasing again. So this palette looks beautiful. Let me swatch it to you. Uh, when I saw this on Instagram, Instagram, I was so happy because it looked so metallic and shimmery. You see how stunning this is. But in the real life, these are not as metallic as they were on Instagram. This one is sparkly. It's beautiful. These three are beautiful, but not as metallic as I thought thought that they would be. And this is something, of course, you need transi transition shades because they are metallic to use this palette. So I'm going to go in with this palette and go in with this shade in my crease. But it, the base did crease again, so I'm going to tap that away. And try not to look up so it doesn't start creasing again. The eyeshadow blends nice on top of this base. It really blended nice. I thought it's going to be patchy, but it's not. I'm going to take Linda Halberry uh, 304 and go into this deeper matte shade and deep up the crease a little bit. I mean, everything goes on very smooth. I feel like my eyelid is very even also and make my eyeshadow blend yet better. I feel like it, I don't know. So I'm going to, right now I think I did set it so it doesn't move anywhere else. I'm going to do the same thing, light here on this side where I've set the base with powder. And I just want to create this nice base transition shade before I go in with the metallic shades. I don't know if you can see, but it looks better on this side than on this side. I don't know if it's only me or just in my head, but the color payoff looks better on the side without the base, but this doesn't look bad, but it feels like it blends better and easier on the side where I haven't set the base with the powder. So with the set side, it's 
it does need more blending. I don't know why. I'm going to clean another brush and I forgot to wash my brushes, so I'm going to clean it like this. I do need to wash all of my brushes, but I'm too lazy. So let's go in with this. I like the mirror and I'm going to take this brown shade first. And this is a metallic shade, so on the side where I have not set, on the wet side. I'm interested to see how long this is going to stay on my eyes, if the base is going to crease. And I hopefully not because I'm going to go outside today. So on this other side. Hmm. Can you see this? I don't know what's happening. For some reason, eyeshadow doesn't want to stick there. What's happening? This side looks good, but look at this side. I don't know if it has something to do with the base. I don't think so because I had the problem yesterday too with another palette. Okay, that's my phone. I'm going to take the brush that we had for the darker brown and just start to blend the edges a little bit. I definitely prefer this side than this. I'm going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills brush from um, one of the palettes. I love, love this smaller side of that brush and try to pack it on. I love to use this side of that brush to pack the color into other, this corner. I feel like this is much easier to work with. Okay, let's blend everything. Mm -hmm. And I really hope this will stay on because I'm not really happy how this one looks. Let's take this dark brown again and place it here. And then I'm going to clean this brush and I want to go in with the same brush into this green shade and deep up. This is a beautiful shade. It's better to pack these shades on like this and just slightly, slightly blend the edges. But if you start blending it too much, it's going to look muddy and the metallic look is definitely going to not be as intense. I like this palette, but I think it's too much money. I don't think it's worth uh, it. It costs around 549 Swedish crown and it's around $50, $50 if I'm not wrong, around $50. And I think that's too much for four shades. I think if you want to try the Linda Halberg palette, try the other Infinity palettes before you go in and buy this one. But I really want to try the other, the, the first metallic version. I'm going to go in and let me say, this shade is beautiful, but I went in with my finger and applied it on my eyelid and it looked beautiful. The problem was that this is going to be everywhere on your face. You're going to look like a glitter ball. I'm going to put some of the uh, P. Louise base and then go in with the glitter shade because if you go in right away with that glitter, you know what? It's not going to look good. It's going to look good on the eyes, but your face is going to be so sparkly and you end up with that glitter everywhere. Then I'll take the shade with my finger. It's a little bit crumbly. 
Oh, this is a stunning, stunning shade. But you do need a glitter glue or wet brush or apply it on the wet, wet base because it's going to fly everywhere. This is stunning. Think about having this instead of the green and this sparkling window. Oh, beautiful for the fall. But this is more like a Christmassy look turning out to be. So I'm going to go back with this brush and that green and try to blend the edges a little bit. I'm going to use the first brush that we had in the crease and just blend a little bit here. So let's go. You see, now I have spark sparkle everywhere. And it's not easy to remove. So even if I had the white base, wet base, I needed to go in with a glitter glue. So if you're going to use this shade, use a glitter glue. You're going to have sparkles else everywhere. Go into that brown again. Just slightly blend down. And then I'm going to go in with red shade. Hmm. I want to go in with this red and with the brush because I want it to be more metallic and intense. So a little bit of fix plus. Let's see, let's see then how it's going to look. Yeah, it's more metallic metallic. There is no shade to put in the corner of my here. So I'm going to go into my highlighter. I'm raising highlighter that is the best highlighter ever and I'm going to go in with my brush so guys it 12 it's 12 17 and I really like how this makeup or look turned out I think they're beautiful shades I don't I just think they are a little bit too pricey for what you get but you do you, you get a lot of the product you get 2.5 grams each so you do get a lot of product in here and it's beautiful I just think it's a little bit expensive this base uh, looks good though I can't really see in the side different between the unset and the set side I think maybe this or not maybe but this did blend better than this side so I prefer it not setting the base so but I really hope it won't crease if it don't crease I'm going to use this all the time and I'm not going to set it so I do have really all the eyelids so this is going to be a wonderful test like it's 12 o'clock and I'm going to wear this for a couple hour, hours and I'll let you know what I think about it so guys, I'm back with a metallic lipstick and this is the Milani Amour Metallic Lip Cream. Uh, that, I don't find it that metallic. Let's try mix over. Uh, this one is more metallic. I'm back and what do you think of my package? I think it's so cute. <laughs> I had to have something fun on my head today. Okay. Guys, it's, I forgot my phone downstairs. Let me show you. 9.25 and come, come. I want to show you something. So I think I had this makeup on for at least, I think 10 hours. Let me show you, 10, 11 hours. Do you see? This looks terrible. 
I mean, it creased a lot. It creased on the side where I didn't set the base and on the side where I did set the base, like a disaster. But though I love my mascara, and this is the one that I reviewed last week, Paris Berlin. Love this, my new favorite. I love that mascara. And uh, I mean, the the um, palette is great because the shadow down here it stayed on, intense. But what what's what's going on? Look, I'm so disappointed. I really, really, really want this to work because everybody else loves it, and I want to love it too. I'm sad. But I'll continue playing with it because I do like how my eyeshadow blended on top, how it smoothed out my eyelid and just made everything look very, very nice. And I prefer not setting it. You see, there is no difference. But I don't know why it creased this much. I really don't know. But I'll continue playing with it because I do want to make it work. I was so excited getting it, so excited getting it, and now I'm disappointed. You know when you wait at some, uh, on something and you, like, save your money to buy and then you buy it and it doesn't work out as you thought? You get disappointed. I do like this palette, but I just think it's too much money. Um, but it's nice, and what I found out First, when I swatched it, I didn't like the other three shades, these shades, because they were not that metallic, like they were on the internet or on the Instagram. But after playing with palette, it is metallic and they do turn out very nice. I think after taking off the first layer, but I, I still think it's too much money. I still think it's too much money for four eyeshadows. And yeah, I'm so disappointed. So disappointed in um, in the base. But I will, of course, continue using it and see if I can make it work for somehow. I did have it for long hours, but this start creasing after... Wait, let me see. We, we came home, it's almost six o'clock, so... After seven hours, it start creasing. So it did work for seven hours. It's not enough for me. I do need my eyeshadow base to stay on for at least 10, 11, hour, 10, 11 hours. So I do love my Wet n Wild. I really like this one. I just want to make it work. I'm so sad. Maybe if I apply a thin layer of this one, before I go in with this one. I don't know. I'll try it out. But I tried it out and again. And I won't set it. Because I just like how it worked. And you see. Wear time. Doesn't matter. It creases the same. So. That was everything. Please let me know if you try this product. And what do you think about it. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit that notification bell. And I hope I see my next video. Bye.